So we trademarked in the United States three paydays. So you don't get paid once on a deal. You get paid now, you get paid over time, and you get paid long-term wealth creation. That's a pretty cool model. But if you take a, an owner financing deal, here's some, here's some guidelines. And the purchase price is at least 200000 which is most markets you can find a house for 200000 or higher, right? Okay, so if it's at least two hundred grand, if it's at least 48 months, and you structure at least, uh, sorry, a principal monthly payment of at least $900, you have a six-figure deal all three paydays. Six figures on a house that can cost you 200, 250. You can you can pull six uh, six figures out of that. So it's a really cool model of three payday system, and that's what we do on all our deals. Beautiful, beautiful. I see. So it's like you said, principal pay down, and after mm -hmm. that, you start with five percent, maybe. Beautiful, beautiful. I see. So it's like you said, principal pay down. And after mm -hmm. that, you start with 5% maybe or 6%? Uh, not on the residential. We keep it principal only. Oh, all, just the principal yeah. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent, excellent. Now, how about uh, other model where you said like uh, option to buy? Yeah, you, lease you option. Yeah, lease option to bus. Yeah. yeah, so in all states except Texas, you mm -hmm. can do what's called the sandwich lease right now. Um, it's been the last eight or nine years like that. And that just simply means I'm going to tie up your property on a lease purchase. The deed doesn't transfer. So this is a little easier for a new person to sort of, sort of stomach, you know, to deal mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. No deed transfer. The, the contracts that we use, that we provide our students, have a $10 deposit built in. It's, it's, no, it's a no-brainer. Wow. Um, you tie it up with the, with them. You cloud the title with a notice of option, so you're protected, and then you go sell it on a, a rent to own. So the sandwich is you got a buyer, a sell, and you're in the middle, protected with an equitable interest. Um, super lucrative, same exit as the, the three paydays with a rent to own, but you're you're not transferring deed. There's no cost. There's no transfer tax. So I I see the new people going that route first uh, in our community mm -hmm. a lot of times, unless they've had some experience. And so that kind of uh, demystifies the myth of, well, you got to go wholesale to start in business. So you have to go do this to start. No, you don't. You just have to learn how to structure deals properly. In my opinion, do lease purchase. I see. I see. So you're right. I mean, you're doing double closing from what I understand, right? Uh, we don't have to close the beginning. So at the very mm -hmm. end, we do cash it out. We don't have to take title. We just have them, okay. the buyer and the seller directly at the very end of that term. Ah, okay, okay. So it never changes hand into your, you're able to bring the buyer, I mean, seller from here and a renter from here. And then there is a, uh, some extra money, which is what the payday is. And then yeah. you're all done with the deal, then, right? Yeah, the three paydays are, um, say I tie up your house. Mm -hmm. I find Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, they come in with a non-refundable down payment. Mm -hmm. keeping in mind that's kind of who we deal with people that need some time but they but they have the down payment mm -hmm. um payday two is i'm paying you something or your underlying mortgage something and i'm collecting something plus that from the buyer monthly got you got at you. the very end of the deal before they get their bank financing the buyer keep in mind now your underlying debt that i've been paying on it's it's lower and i benefit from that plus my markup and that's my payday three they average for us anywhere between around the country a low of 45,000 to a high of uh, 250,000 per deal. So the, the three paydays are quite lucrative. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. What other things? So are you mostly in single family then, or are you into multifamily also, or other parts of commercial business? Um, primarily what I teach, right? And I'll tell you what we do is single, just because I think, as you know, students can get the shiny object syndrome. Yeah. You start showing them different ways to do property, they get very distracted. Mm -hmm. So laser focus, master this. And in your, in your travels of doing this, you're going to run into some single, uh, sorry, some multis. You're going mm -hmm. to run into some, some mixed use like I'm sitting in right now. I love the building. Yeah. So, so I'll teach you how to do that. And as a student, I'll do it with you. But um, I do teach that broadly. But again, as we said earlier, you can do multis. I've done uh, the fours, the sixes, the 10 units, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what the property is. Uh, again, I said earlier, you can do boats. Cars, yeah, planes. numbers are numbers. It's exactly, just math. exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's totally math. No, I totally see that. And many times, the single family owners, let's say single family homeowners, also seem to have love more duplexes and triplexes. Yeah, or know so, someone. 
Yeah. yeah, they know somebody too, yeah. right? As compared to 20 units, 100 units, you know, 200 units. Yeah, like that. exactly. Agreed. Exactly. So let me ask you a question. What does it take for a student? This is a good one. I know a lot of people listening to us, they say, I want to do it, right? So what do they really need to have with, you know, to be successful? Let me ask you that. Yeah. Uh I know, I know some people say, well, that's too simple, but here, here are a couple of thoughts. One is um, managing expectations is a biggie mm -hmm. and it sounds simple, but we have too many people in our real estate space, Vinny, you and I, that know how to market well, yeah. and then they leave the students high and dry. And so yeah. they, they have all these promises. And unfortunately people come to me and say, Chris, I bought a course, or I had two students in the last 24 months say they spent a hundred grand on courses. And I said, wow. okay, great. So how many deals did you do? None, zero. That's a bummer. So I happen to have my shirt on today for this answer, but I have a bunch of shirts, but this one says bridge the gap. And the reason it says that is Hi, you are listening to Syndication Made Easy Podcast. We will be right back after this short break. Hi, thank you so much. This is Vinny Chopra and thank you for subscribing to my podcast and uh, YouTube channel and Facebook pages and all the great things and LinkedIn connect with me. I come live to you every Friday at 930 Pacific with Vinny and Bo show. Please also look at that. And also the podcast, which is my uh, apartment syndication made easy. The book I wrote to a couple of years back became international top seller uh, on Amazon international now. And then we like to bring great guests for you every week or a, twice a week sometime to give you a lot of great knowledge. So please subscribe. You give us five star reviews on the iTunes. The better the guests we can, you know, bring and our ranking will go higher also. Thanks again for uh, following us and really getting the most out of it. Please comment, like, share, because we would love to bring better and better material for you. And the reason it says that is our model, interactive coaching like that and doing deals with the students takes that gap of time from, hey, I, I saw this course or seminar and, I, and here's my first deal. And sometimes it never happens. That's a big gap and yeah. it's frustrating. So it, what it takes is a little bit of managing of your expectations. Yeah. And secondly, it takes you putting the blinders on as a student. I don't care who you're following and I don't care what niche you're in. It takes you putting the blinders on for at least 36 months and saying, look, I understand there'll be some heartache, some speed bumps, some challenges, but I'm in this for three years. And yeah. if you say that your coach will get you there. You can't yeah. come into real estate and say, I'll try this one. And yeah. well, that didn't work quick enough. So let me go try that one. You will get mm -hmm. nowhere. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Totally makes sense. I see that. You know, do you also find that um, your attitude, right? I mean, attitude of, uh, you know, just making sure that you are, you know, doing the work, of course, but at the same token, the ups and downs are going to come. So do you also provide them some more literature or things about getting their mindset right? I think that's yeah. something... <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. All of our events and in, in our academy that we have, that's our core academy. Mm -hmm. All of that is based on a three pillar system. It's called our genius model. It's, yeah. it's um, skill set systems in mindset. Ah, and, yeah. and I ask guests all the time, and, I, and I'm going to actually ask you this one in a second, if you don't mind. And that is, I yeah. ask guests what's most important. And you probably know Brian Tracy, because like, oh, like me, you big time, big time, okay. big time. <laughs> I knew you would because you've been around like me. So yes. Brian was on my show and Brian, and he was in his eighties. This was a year and a half ago. And he mm -hmm. and I said to him, what do you think about my, my three-year idea, Brian? Like you, this is important. And what do you think about the mindset? How much do you think that weighs in? He said, I think your three years is too short. It should be seven years for an entrepreneur. They need, they need seven years to have great success. And then he said, mindset. I said, what do you think it is? 70 or 80%. He said, no, 95 to hundred percent is mindset. Oh my God. Look at that. Look because I, yeah. I teach, this is, this is still staggering to me. I'll give you our real stat. I mm -hmm. teach everybody the same Academy. They go through the same Academy, but I've had students do a deal in 32 days. And I literally had a student do a deal in 365 days. It took them wow. and everything in between. Why is that mindset? Mindset. Oh. I, you know, um, baggage from the past. That's all mindset, mm -hmm. all, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So true. So true. How many times we really put limitations our yeah. own? 
limitations on ourselves. And then that hinders us. So true. Big time, yeah. You know, I mean... 